My crab people, I'm happy to say we finally have hats in Crab Champions. Or at least unofficially. Huh? Today I've uploaded my hat pack one onto Nexus mods, which means you can now wear a lovely little hat on top of your crab head. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install it. Now before I start rambling, I want to give a huge thank you to Dalton for initially creating the mod packs needed to do this. I also want to thank Hybrid for helping me with some of those questions and also contributing the team captain hat that will be in the mod pack. Just so you know, I've also spoken to Noisestorm about this and he's absolutely fine with us modding the game and in fact, he noticed some of the mods the last time I was streaming. Now before you do absolutely anything, I just need to say, back up your save. Whilst these mods won't be doing anything to your save data, it's really important that you just back it up just in case because I don't want the comments to be filled with, oh my save data's gone, yada yada yada. So. To create a backup, it's pretty simple. Just go to your local user data on your computer, find your saved folder within Crab Champions and make a copy somewhere else. I'll put the location in the description if you're unsure where to find it. So, now that's all said and done, to get this mod installed, head to the main Nexus Mods Crab Champions page, which you'll find by searching for Crab Champions on the Nexus Mod website. Make sure you've logged into your Nexus Mod account, or if you haven't got one, then you know, go ahead and make one, as you'll desperately need this to actually download these mods. Now, whilst you're on the Crab Champions mod page, you will see a bunch of different mods, and specifically my upload, the Hat Pack 1. Now go ahead and click the manual download button to download the Hat Pack. However, in order for this mod to work, you'll need to download two other mods as they're dependent on them you will see both BP Loader and Enable Christmas Hats. So go ahead and click on both of those links and manually download them as well. Once you have all of these mods downloaded, go ahead and extract them with whichever extraction tool you have. I personally use WinRAR, however any of them will do. The resulting files are called .pack files. Do not change their file name, otherwise the mods will not work. Keep these handy for now as we need to create a way to store these mods within Crab Champions. So bring up Steam, right click on Crab Champions in your library and navigate to the local files by going to the manage part, then to browse local files. Once you're in the files, click on Crab Champions, go to content and then finally packs. In here, you need to create a folder for your mods. So create that folder and use the wavy line mods. Now the wavy line is also known as a tilde, but it does need to have that there followed by mods in order to work. Once that's created, you need to copy and paste the extracted BP loader file and the extracted enable Christmas hat packs into this folder and whichever hat file you want to use in my hat pack one. You can only wear one hat at a time, so don't try and put all of them in there as it might cause an error in your game. Once that's done, boot up your game and you'll now see that your crab is wearing a beautiful new hat. If this doesn't work, just double check to make sure that you've got all three of those extracted files as well as the right mod folder name. If you're still having errors, do put something in the comments and I'll take a look for you, but most of the time it's the file name that you've got wrong. As for moving forward, if you want to change your hat, then just delete the current hat pack that you have and just put in a different one in there. And if you want to completely uninstall all the mods, then just delete the entire mods folder. Moving forward, you can use this mods folder for any Crab Champions mods. I'm working on a couple sound packs and textures that may or may not be out pending at the time you're watching this video. So that's that. Enjoy the new hats. And look, I'd love to know if there's any hats you want me to create or think I should add in the next mod pack. I've got a few ideas, but I'd love to hear more. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.